What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Plane Mechanics Simulator. The one game where you can work on planes from the 1940s. Patch up bullet holes, fix up everything to defeat the enemy. But in the last episode we messed around with a couple engine parts. Just checked out the game and make sure that, uh, I don't know, we got a little bit better at it. We were fixing bullet holes because our boy almost got shot down. But now we are on a different field. We're in a different squadron. And our aircraft types have changed. We've got a Spitfire, serial number K9824. Time to complete, don't worry about it. Pilot's name, Peter Calame. Hello. So, short patrol over Hastings. Notice some faint knocking sounds from the engine. Please check what's wrong. Well, let me tell you what's wrong. This thing's fantastic looking, bro. It's looking real nice. And do we have a, oh, we a ladder here? Hold on. Oh yeah, ha ha ha. Wunderbar, my friends. It's so good. Yeah, let's take a picture of that. Fixing up a Spitfire. Oh, so good, so nice. So pretty, so lovely, so nice. Oh yeah, hold on. Two for the thumbnail, that's what's up. So, let's move this out of the way. And enough talky talky, no more talky. We gotta get to brass tacks. So what do we got here? Fix knocking engines, refill coolant, refuel the aircraft. So what we're gonna do, we're going to take apart the side cat lines here. Got a knocking in the engine. Hmm. I do like how those aren't screws. Let's go ahead and take off the bottom one. Bottom cat line two. Let's pop that off. Then we'll hop over here. Hello. To the starboard side. Now, we have not leveled up yet. We haven't got to the 1,000 points, so you don't have, it's not necessarily where you have to uh, get certain amounts of like levels in order to get to a different aircraft. It's kind of like you just finish the missions, and then they just move you along to a different area, which is kind of nice. But at the same time, I'm sitting there, I'm like, like, if you mess up any of these, bro, forget it. Like, you're sitting there for a bit. Just, we got a super charge in here. I'm just checking to see if there's anything that I can see right off the bat that could be causing a problem. I think our next, uh, the next one that we uh, unlock, or the next levels that we take care of, pristine ignition. I have a feeling that we're gonna have to do a lot more work. Let's see here. But I want to get something to help out with uh, better repair jobs, so that we don't have to constantly, I don't know, be able to fix the stuff ourselves. I can do it myself, Dad. Uh, let's see, coolant tank. We're gonna have to take the whole thing off, aren't we? Yeah, 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 probably. Yeah. Port exhaust. Can I take this off? Don't tell me no. I need yes men around me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, no, sir. Coolant type, we're just checking things out here, man. I have a feeling it's all, it's all on the inside that we'll need. So this is a coolant tank. So this is a new thing that we have to refill. We'll do that after we figure out what's going on with the engine here. And oh my god. All right, well, let's go ahead and start taking it off, man. Boop, boop, come on. Take you off, let's take you off. All right, how about you? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> no. 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 Today, Junior. How's this looking? How's this looking? Everything good? Propeller switch. Got a lot of paths. A lot of moving paths over here, no. as you would imagine. Oh, what? my God. He just so gets so angry. He gets so mad. No. No. Okay, okay. No. All right, so what else? Ah, oh, look at this. We gotta take this off, too. That's new. Take off the, it's like a bridge. Take you out. No, sir. Oh my God, there's so, look at all these parts, dude. So many bolts and screws. Hopefully we, hopefully we put them in, uh, we don't lose them, no. you know? Oh my goodness. Now the one thing that I'm not a fan of in this game is the timed missions, because there was a timed mission on the older aircraft there where I had to basically inspect the entire uh, the entire plane and fix the entire plane. 
within 15 minutes. They give you timed missions in here, and uh, let me tell you, it's tr uh, pure trash. After this trash, let me let me let me explain myself. It takes it takes a little longer than 15 minutes. Even like I was going, I was flying, bro. I was oh my oh oh my god. Sure, let's just take apart the whole thing. Engine knocking. Listen, our pilots got to go up there. So they got to do their job, but we're going to have to speed run this a little bit. Just a little bit. Hello? It took me about, I would say, roughly 18 minutes. Where'd you get that number from? Well, I got that number from... I finished taking everything apart within about 10 minutes, but then putting it all back together again, fixing everything, repairing everything. Oh, wow. Hmm. Just took a little longer, that's all. I'll tell you what, man. It's a good thing we don't have a timer on this one. <laughs> For sure. I'll tell you what. Let's get a nice little picture of this. Bang. Looking good. You're looking real nice. You know, while we wait for all these screws and bolts to, to unhang, unhinge themselves, but you can keep on going. Hold on. Mechanisms. Do we have to take a... Oh my god. Each individual one of these. What? I don't want to take apart all of these. But it looks like we're going to have to. And this is where the levels come into play because it unlocks certain skills. If you had something where your skill level allow oh, we found, our we found ourselves a crappy one, folks. But I don't know what's on the inside of this. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't, they're not, they're not going to tell you that you did good and that you fixed the uh, knocking part until you install the part. So we got to take apart this whole rocker arm system. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, well, let's head on over here. While well, that's doing its thing there. Yeah, so once you start leveling up and start getting into it a little bit, um, figuring out what the problems are, it's just like just like Car Mechanic Simulator, where you uh, level up and it becomes just a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier to figure out what the problem is if you're still repairing cars and not uh, redoing them. Usually by like, uh, I would say level 30 in Car Mechanic Simulator, even earlier, I was just taking apart engines and just putting them back together again and restoring vehicles. Not so much doing the actual uh, repair quests or missions or jobs, whatever you whatever you want to call it, homie. All right, so it looks like this is the uh, looks like this one's a, a bit of a problem. Hello. Sorry, I right clicked. All right. Okay. Now let's check something. Let's just check something. If I just replace this part, will it give me the okay? Because that would be a okay. Nice. Oh, God, that's so good. <laughs> hey, shot in the dark. Bum, 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 bum. One step away from you. Beautiful. Sometimes you just got to take a shot in the dark and hope everything works out for it. Uh, let's see. All right. So now we can put all this stuff back together again. Put some coolant into this jam and call this job done but look at all the different parts man so um, I believe there's about uh, I forget how many planes are in the game I do know of at least three there's the uh, earlier biplane we have the Spitfire here there is a bomber but let me tell you what's a bummer <laughs> is that you can't mess around with anything in the cockpit so all these different components that are inside the cockpit can't really do too much with them, like joysticks and uh, gauges, things like that. It's all engine related, which is fine, I guess, but I, 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 guess, I guess I'm a little bummed out about it. But there's over 800 different parts that you can mess around with inside of the game. 
I inside the base game. I don't know if modding is available for this game. I don't know. I have not asked. I haven't really looked into it to be honest with you. But it would be cool. It'd be definitely interesting to see a bunch of different planes come together. Just imagine the parts that you would have to mod inside of Blender to try and get this to work. It would probably be a modder's dream slash nightmare. It's still screwed in it's still screwing the screws right now. Or bolting bolts. I don't even know where we're at right now. Okay. 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 Take that. Get the coolant tank on there. We'll get our top engine cover here. Boom. Boom. Um, where are all of the parts I know that I took off? Are they on this side? Uh, uh. <laughs> mm. All right. Start putting the callings. Oh wait, hold on. Let's not put the callings on. We'll put the side callings on. But we're gonna have to mess around with the coolant. We gotta put coolant in this jam. All right, let's check it out. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. All right. So instead of ladder, we can go ahead and hop up on the wing. Do you have the wing? And right here, coolant tank. No, sir. Quiet. Don't tell me what to do. Gotta pop that off right there. Now, we head on over to these canisters, pick up the can of coolant, hop on the wing, and gotta skirt this a little bit. You may need to get a ladder for this. It'll be probably way easier, but it can be done from the wing. And then with our mouse, we shall fill you up. Fill me up, big, big, big boy. Gross. All right. Put that down there. We'll start putting this back, all this stuff, all this beautiful stuff on. Assembly blade. Assemble. Oh yeah. Put on the side cowling here. Yeah. I like how these are t like tabs. <laughs> like it's a like it's a like it's a friggin' door panel. All right, so what am I missing out of here that is not allowing me to put it on the top cover? Oh. Put that on there. Now, there we go. Now, I could have something that is completely off with the uh, with the parts that I've taken off because I don't remember what I did. Sorry. Just not that familiar with the engine. This is like my second mission doing anything with the Spitfire. But, now we need to fuel up. So let's go to the fuel tank up here. Take out the fuel cap. Pick up the hose, up your nose with a rubber hose. Up, up, Gunther, up. In you go. And fill up the gas tank. All primary tasks have been completed. And put the fuel cap back on. And this thing is ready for battle, sir. Boom. It's got the diesel design sign of approval. Fix engine knocking sounds. Done. Refill coolant. Done. Refill the aircraft. D -d -d Done. Not all parts properly <laughs> screwed in. Some parts may get damaged. Reduction gear cover. Huh? Okay, I missed a part. It happens. 
Now, the one thing that I've noticed about this, not all parts properly screwed in, some parts may be damage reduction gear cover. Sometimes this transfers over to the next plane, like whatever you missed. So, I don't know, it's odd. I don't know if it's a, uh, it's like a, some sort of bug or glitch where whatever I missed from screwing in, because there was a problem with the uh, camshaft cover where it was missing a bolt and every single job I was doing, it was telling me like, hey, listen, you got problems here. And I'm like, hey man, that was the last plane. So, escorting recon plane to the coast, no hun on the way or on, wait, huh? No hun on the way or an, on RTB. Please check the spark plugs while you're at it. I think one might be misfiring. Hmm. Really know. Well, folks, this game, I'm hop on up here. Can I hop up over here? Can I hop up? Can I get up on, can I get up here? I just wanna get up on here. So this game comes out tomorrow on Steam. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another, another episode of this uh, tomorrow and have him, uh, you know, we'll do a couple more missions, taking apart the engine and try to get to the next one. I want to get to top level. I want to be able to be like the big plane. Oh, upper gun. What? Yo, we're messing around with, let me see this. Oh, check this out. So it does have weapons where you can breach cover. Nice. So we could totally mess around with the machine guns of this jam. Beautiful. That's awesome. Because at first I was like, oh man, I guess it's just going to be engine parts and we're just going to be fixing it. Ejection shoot. Oh, it's so good. I'm excited now. Let's go ahead and put it on. We're not looking at these. Beautiful. What other, what other panels can we mess around with? Just see something. But again, like I was telling you, uh, we're going to be doing uh, an episode of this tomorrow. Maybe even two episodes just to kind of, you know, get the hype up for it. If you're down, it's going to be a good time. We're working on planes, y'all. So, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. It helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, let's shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Plane Mechanic Simulator next time. See, now all we need now is to just be able to work on some of the cockpit components. Can I... No. Oh, we can mess around with radios no. too. No. Oh, get out of town, man. This game's getting better and better. It's getting better and better, folks. Brace yourselves.